Good evening, guys. Tonight, I would like to discuss a few things regarding uh, management of hypertension. As always, welcome to our videos. Please visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net for more videos. You can actually uh, explore hundreds of videos, learning thousands of most important points you must know before sitting for USML examination. Today I would like to talk a few things about non-pharmacological treatment of hypertension. Many people, I mean, in fact many physicians take them very lightly, but they are so important and uh, they are also very, very less expensive things to try. There are especially four things you need to remember when it comes to the management of hypertension non-pharmacologically. Number one, weight reduction. This is very, very important. Maintain normal body weight, that is BMI from 18 to 24.9. So the normal BMI should be less than 25. If you are between 25 and 29, you are overweight. So, weight reduction is number one in the list. This is very, very important. More than anything, more than salt restriction, more than physical activity, more than dietary approaches to stop hypertension, the DASH technique, just by reducing the weight, we can actually improve hypertension tremendously. Then adopt a DASH eating plan. This is the dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Like eating fruits, vegetables, low dairy products, low fat products that have uh, less amounts of saturated fats. So these are the important things in DASH. The next one is uh, dietary sodium reduction. Sodium, as you know, it increases hypertensive potential in our body. So, reduce sodium, less than 100 milligrams per day. Then, physical activity. The recommended physical activity is at least 30 minutes a day on most of the days in the week. And finally, alcohol. Alcohol increases hypertension. So, in men, it should be no more than two drinks per day. And in women, and in also in a lightweight people, it should be no more than one drink per day. So, those are the important non-pharmacological management strategies to treat hypertension. Number one, weight reduction. Number two, DASH diet. Number three, salt restriction. Number four, physical activity. Number five, reduced alcohol intake. And now let me give you a few more thoughts on these things individually. Coming to obesity, obesity is uh, associated with many physical disorders like hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and coronary artery disease through causing atherosclerosis. And uh, even as less as 3 pounds reduction in birth weight is associated with 2 millimeters of hypertension to decrease. So, reducing your weight is very, very important. Then exercise, it can reduce diastolic blood pressure as much as 10 millimeters mercury. Then alcohol consumption, as I said earlier, reduce alcohol and in men it is less than two drinks and in women less than one drink and sodium reduction and stress. So those are the important issues you need to remember when you treat a patient. In fact, in a normal people like in whose blood pressure is less than 120 by 80, you can actually recommend lifestyle management even before they become 
prehypertensive or hypertensive that that actually acts as a preventative measure in order to control hypertension and in prehypertension when their blood pressure is like from 120 to 139 or from 80 to 89 in those numbers they are in prehypertension in prehypertension we do not start drugs like diuretics or uh, beta blockers ACE inhibitors or calcium channel blockers when patient is in prehypertension we basically use these measures i mentioned weight reduction dash that is fruits and vegetables and less saturated fats and number 3 sodium restriction less than 100 milli equivalents per day and number 4 reducing uh, increasing physical activity more than 30 minutes per day on most of the weekly days and finally decreasing alcohol consumption that is less than two drinks in men and less than one drink in women thank you and uh, bring up if you have good points about hypertension just post on my blogs or my website at www.usmlevideos.net that helps a lot of people who are taking USML examination. Thank you. Have a good night.